My name is Katie Nelson, and I'm a journalist, photographer, and filmmaker based out of Nairobi, Kenya. I graduated from the Community Health Promotion Program, which dealt a lot with how researchers and educators could help communities understand complex health issues. So my focus was on reproductive health, sexually transmitted infections, HIV, tuberculosis, and other highly infectious diseases. So I first came to Kenya when I was 21 as a volunteer for the Kenyan Red Cross, working in refugee camps and internally displaced people's camps on the western side of the country. And there I was meeting a lot of people who were facing severe health and medical issues and really had no opportunity or access to medical care or public health services. So at first I really thought I should go into public health because this is an issue that's solved in many ways for displaced people. You can get resources, you can get sanitation services to these people and I felt like this is something that I can make an impact on. But as I started meeting refugees and IDPs, I started to realize that the thing that was most important to them was for me to tell their story. So people would oftentimes come to me for medical services and not really care. They would say, please just tell my story because they believe that if somebody knew what was happening to them and the conflict that they were living in, that perhaps somebody would want to make a difference. And so that put a bug in my ear to write down people's stories and start documenting. I felt that I could use my public health degree to provide really knowledgeable expertise on global health issues while fusing it with journalism and storytelling, which has been a really good combination for me. So one of the stories that I'm most proud of in my journalism career is writing about Uganda's only radiotherapy machine, which broke down about three years ago and wasn't replaced for over a year. Hundreds, if not thousands of people were dying of treatable forms of cancer around Uganda and around the region because of this. I wrote a story for Al Jazeera highlighting the stories of four or five cancer patients who had treatable forms of cancer. Unfortunately, all four died in the time that I was covering the story, which was over a year. I think that this story did shame the government into getting a new machine. It was the only story that came out about it at the time, and the story from Al Jazeera then prompted a lot of other reporters to follow up on the program. And so I'm very, very proud because of my work. Uganda has a new radiation machine. In the future, I plan to continue using my public health degree to tell more and more stories about some of these stigmatized diseases and public health issues. My hope is that my work humanizes some of these stories and brings a face and a name to some of the most complex and difficult health issues that are going on around the globe.